course, you will not put AY in that mix because AY is married. Fancy Achilano. It's a very unique name. It's Nigerian. Does that mean something? Yes, it means it's my last name. Okay. <laughs> so I don't feel bad for him, honestly. I would not forget to celebrate Macy Johnson. Now, a lot of you have sent me messages about Alex Ekubo and his supposed to be wife, Fancy. That does show that you have some kind of irresponsibility mm -hmm. that wouldn't work with me personally, because mm -hmm. like I'm really responsible. <laughs> so that wouldn't work with me, but uh, yeah. Wow, Alex, you decided to go for a fancy woman and she did this to you? Bro, I'm so sorry. But anyway, today we are looking at it straight on. And before we get into it, please, um, I, I want to make my videos a little bit more educative this time. So I want you to listen to Dr. Aproko himself. He has a tip for to share with our ladies uh -huh, when we come to your Igiaga, Igiaga. <laughs> you understand? So please, Aproko, take it on. One. Some young lady people are not spicing up your sex life. Yeah, it's a good thing. You know, sex is the spice of life, not pepper like some people believe. Um, but the one that I won't understand is why you are now putting ice cream inside. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, it's so that it will make it. Uh -huh, so that brother Pius will not leave. You know. Uh -huh. The problem with it is putting ice cream inside the vagina can cause problems for you, Sister Kechi, because a lot of sugar in that place can foster the production of germs. Organisms, virus, bacteria, everything will just be growing in that place. From instead of vagina, it's not looking like culture medium where they are making you go. You know, go on now. Discharge, smell, go take titles, anything will just be smelling in that place. If Brother Pius wants to put ice cream somewhere, tell him to put inside your mouth. <laughs> now, tell you people, I will down. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, okay? Now, let's get straight into the reason why you clicked on my thumbnail to watch this video as we talk about Alex Akubo's alleged breakup, or would I say former breakup with his to-be wife, Fancy. <laughs> Hello and welcome back again. So, first of all, Alex Akubo, for those of you who don't know and you, I don't have audiences from all over the world. Alex Akubo, Eku, Ekubo, <laughs> Alex Akubo is a Nigerian actor. He's a, he used to be a model, and I think he's still modeling right now. And he's a lot of different things when it comes to media, which I think he's really, really an amazing guy. I must give him that respect as I talk about him and his alleged um, a breakup with his Toby wife. But I want you to understand. So, <laughs> oh, please, guys, watch this video. Oh. African prince. Oh, me, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Did you bring something for me? I went to the mayor, Joe. Oh my. Oh, oh baby, thank you. Yeah. I love you. Oh my God, yeah, miss. I don't know if you really rob me for me or you rob me for my money. Oh, I love you. I really love you. Eh? Yeah. How much do you rob me? I love you like a fat kid loves cake. <laughs> I love you like a skinny bitch loves a diet. Quizzle. And I love you like Kanye loves Kanye. <laughs> you know Kanye? I love you. Yeah. Oh. Come here. I don't want to be safe. You okay. cannot open Come down, shut. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how much do you love me? Ah, I love you. Yeah? I, I, I love you like a police rob 29. <laughs> I love you like never love to take lights. Oh. I love you like corruption of Nigeria. <laughs> you know, it's so heartbreaking sometimes that you like you put out things like this on social media and then like all of a sudden like something just happens and and you guys can't be together anymore or something or maybe the girl leaves. That's why I Social media is not for everyone, like not everyone can handle this and if you look at like our celebrities, the, the things they go through, uh, you know, it's something else, I'll tell you. But the thing is that because there are people in the front line and all that, people that have so much attention to them, yeah, the people, anyone could talk about them or post them or whatever, like I'm talking about them now. So I really understand what this man might be going through right now. But let's look at the whole idea of if Alex Okubo is gay.
Now, this lover blog, among other blogs and many gossipers, have said that Alex is gay, and uh, the reason why his wife has decided to leave him, or his to be wife, sorry, has decided to leave him is because of his involvement in the activity of being gay or something. Even just lover was saying that how can you marry a woman and not touch her at all or not just touch her um, not too often and you expect her to stay or something. But I now ask myself a question. These people have been dating for about five years. If it's because of his sexual preferences that this woman decides not to be with him anymore, what have they been doing for the whole five years that she didn't know and it had to get to this point for her to know? Or maybe after the whole engagement thing, they became closer to the point that she got to know about that. Or is it? Uh, did it get to the point where, you know, this, there's this thing I believe in as a person. If I am dating someone, when we get to that point of we deciding if we can be together for the rest of our lives, I think it gets to that point where you confess to each other. Very, very important. Because now listen to this video. I saw this video on Instagram about a woman who had kids for her ex when she was married. But the reason why she decided not to have kids for her own husband is because she thinks or in her opinion, her husband is ugly. So she's thinking about what her children would look like if she gave birth to her kids with her husband. Listen to her yourself. I am 34 year old married woman with three kids expecting my fourth child soon. Hmm, Tima, the unfortunate thing is all my three children are for my ex who is also married. It was my decision to give birth to beautiful children. But when I met my husband, he was not handsome for my liking, but I liked all other things he portrayed. He's hardworking, caring, and has lots of money. So after our marriage, any time I sleep with him and I'm not safe, I take birth control pills. My cycle is very correct, so I'm safe. So if I'm safe, I never get pregnant. It went on for a while, so after our first year of marriage, he started getting worried. He asked that we go see a doctor, so we went to the hospital and doctor said we were both fine which I already knew, but couldn't say anything because I had my own reasons for not wanting to have a child for him. Because I was scared our children would look horrible. So a crazy idea struck me and I immediately started chatting my ex, who is so handsome and married. Tima, my ex-boyfriend is a big time flirt. It's one of the reasons I left him, so it was so easy for us to hook up. So anytime I'm ovulating, I call him and we meet up at a secret place and we make love all night. Then I get pregnant. He will ask me if I'm safe, then I lied that I'm very safe. He knows my cycle is really effective. Tima, if I'm safe, I'm safe, pa. So he believed me. Tima, the reason why I'm here is my husband has won an American lottery and I know definitely, definitely there will be a DNA at some point. Now, I don't know what to do. I keep telling people a broken engagement or a broken boyfriend and girlfriend relationship is way better than a broken marriage. Looking at what has happened between Alex Akubo and this wonderful girl of which I'll be revealing to you her man as we go on. Some of you think she doesn't have a man but I'm going to be revealing to you her man so you have to just watch this video to the end. One thing I find very interesting right here is that women themselves have great power. And I would advise you if you're watching me right now, if you're in a relationship and you're not, you're not yet married and maybe you have someone that the best and your partner is someone that is into social media or it's into entertainment or something or is someone that is very vocal on social media or something. It's very important that you sit down and listen to them sometimes so you get to know their mindset about certain issues or something. Now I want you to listen to Fancy right now and say some things that are about this whole marriage thing this whole divorce thing and you get to see her mindset even before she had a whatever thing this was while she was dating alex yeah, I was yeah, I was like, yeah, specific got... because if it's engagement and you're not married yet then yes give the ring back because mm -hmm. that ring is a condition that we walked on the aisle but yes. if we are already married yes. this is now my property <laughs> yeah and i will use it as i see fit and pond it where <laughs> i need to be yeah. <laughs> 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 nice bracelet nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> you return all the jewelry or just? No, everything that was in that marriage is mine. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. how you I earned see that. It. Yeah. 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 With so no one's giving it back. No. no. <laughs> he seemed like he was really into her, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. What do okay. y'all think about it? Well, that changes the dynamic, okay? <laughs> if she's the one that cheated and he has these lyrics, he has okay. the right to are vent hurt. it out. Yeah. But if he's the one in the wrong, then, yeah. of course, no, you don't get the ring back. Now, having listened to that, you could see that this woman is, I'll call her her touch lady. Not like touch, like, I mean, she's well-read. Obviously, I think she wasn't born in Nigeria, if I'm not mistaken. But I think she's very, very exposed. And I asked myself a question. Alex, what, why of all the women you could have something to do with, it is this amazing, wonderful lady that is this, this touche, <laughs> I would say. I don't mean to sound funny, but looking at this, I don't know if any of you remember the proposal. Let me play it for you guys to see again. Now, looking at this proposal right now, you can see that she herself is very shocked at the whole thing. But the whole love, the kissing, the surprise, it was so amazing that everyone was like, this is just one of the best marriages we've ever had in Nollywood, or would I say, in the Nigerian entertainment industry or something. But this lady right here is an entrepreneur. She's actually done a couple of businesses of which she has featured Alex in her business. But I don't know how that is going to go right now when it comes to maybe her jewelry brand or something. But looking at them critically right now, I asked myself a question. How come Alex was able to give this girl such assurance for five good years of dating without getting her pregnant? Of course, we know who is the master of assurance that always gives it that got your mom pregnant even before <laughs> right now who is even talking about that anymore but you see at least it's not like every other man every other artist or every other whatever that has children without actually being officially married so people will now say alex himself is it really true that the whole rumor about him Sabuna, and the rest of them that they are actually of course you will not put ay in that mix because ay is married and has a child but of course we can't say that we don't know but these are people that are like in the same group that are friends and all that but i know to a great extent alex himself is not happy about the situation he hasn't come out to give a public statement or something about that and he still has a post of his wife still, or, or his Toby, I keep calling her his wife, his Toby wife still on his page. He hasn't deleted most of the things, even though the lady has gone to delete most of the things. And it's just so surprising that this itself is happening. But why are women like this, that you just have an issue with someone or whatever? Okay, yes, of course, she has said to herself that people should be comfortable to live in their own truth. Of which people have interpreted that statement to be the fact that maybe Alex himself is gay. Maybe he's gay. Maybe that's the truth that she's talking about. Do I know? I don't know. But looking at the scenario around this, for her to go delete her, their post together and delete the page you started together, they even made TikTok videos to the point that Zuby Michael even reacted by saying, <laughs> where would they see this guy kind of love now? Maybe that's why my brother Zuby Michael is not yet married right now because when it comes to celebrities like this, it is very, very sensitive for them deciding who to spend the rest of your life with because those people may just come to also catch crews and build attention from them because this is someone that already has attention to himself and now getting married so the attention will now move from him to the person they have as their partner i would not forget to celebrate mercy johnson with regards to the surprise she got from her husband with all the celebrities there this is one actress we could say yes indeed nollywood the face of nollywood is vindicated that at least they could have well-meaning marriages that could last this long come on look at her look at her beautiful family look at her wonderful husband and she's so look at just look at the way she went and knelt before the husband after being so overwhelmed by the surprise you could it could it can tell you a whole lot of the fact that she is very very respectful to her husband and let, let's not go into this whole okay women know their place a woman should submit to a man blah 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 listen i'm not a, i don't have a problem with you being feminist or you being whatever i don't know i don't have a problem with that okay but the main thing you have to know is that whatever beliefs you have as a woman or as a man Please find what can work with your partner, okay? If what can work with the man that you are settling down with is you being submissive to him, please let that be the guiding principle. If what can work with that particular man is you 
you guys being co-equals and you know sharing everything blah 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 please let that be the modus operandi because i have perceptions i have beliefs about a lot of things i analyze and talk about but it's sometimes it's a, a, lot, a whole lot different from reality but if you want to copy and paste the things you see on social media or because you follow uh blessing okoro or some other people that talk about relationships i just want to copy the things they say into your own reality i bet you you might be getting in the whole wrong so work with people on individual basis of course you could have your whatever perception and if you're someone that is feminist please look for a man that supports feminism or something because when i look at the life and the love relationship between mercy johnson and her husband is so amazing that they could stay this long having amazing wonderful kids of which i heard she's even planning to have more <laughs> <laughs> now even from the post on instagram you could see that even alex himself and fancy had bought a house together to live or something based on the brand that they were advertising for would i say being ambassadors for as you can see on the picture and talking about her new partner, I know you guys have been waiting for this. Fancy has a new partner, which I want to show to you. This is revealing, of course. It's not this one because this was just a picture she took for a clothing brand, I guess. But this is her new partner right now. Take a close look at your screen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, of course, her new partner is herself. And if you were deceived by the fact that they don't look alike that is the same person and that was a picture that she made herself sometime back on her instagram handle that was just a way for me to keep you watching up to this point but listen guys i think it's really important that um if we are in relationships with anyone you get to know them get to understand your person five years is a long time for you to really know someone but what could happen between how many months to your marriage or you decide to call it up or something but at least whatever it is i think it was really necessary for that to be done i don't think alex okubo is happy wherever he is even though right now he just bagged <laughs> he just bagged the honorary doctorate degree you guys know i made a video when i exposed um mr p for the fact that i think his honorary doctorate degree was you know bought by him okay and guess what alex still got his honorary doctorate degree from bene republic <laughs> <laughs> all of them are going to bene republic to get honorary doctorate degree in fact eh, Niger, i beg if you get money for Niger, just carry yourself go bene republic go there go go roger then one make, just buy one certificate carry doctor add for your name because right now if like i say even the education what we get self school now don't turn to scam <laughs> I do yeah read get degree read get masters I have to now read again to get doctorate degree Ma why don't I just relax make a whole lot of money become a billionaire then I go get honorary doctorate degree <laughs> I've been waiting there for school to learn again <laughs> anyway uh please build healthy relationships with your partner and uh if you are there still if you have if you be guy they watch me still never tell that girl say one mariam we you know say don't read everything don't gel I beg make you tell and say one mariam as I did now, so I don't see uh, uh, that just see now money they insult person. <laughs> I don't get money. I hate to say I get money. Like, I said I don't marry before. <laughs> anyway, when I marry now, they go to us say, ah, yeah, you don't have this, you don't have this. So anyway, it is well one day. Not be everybody. Even this marriage thing said, not be for everybody. Not be everybody. Not be by must say you must marry. I say you know. <laughs> anyway, sha. If you wanna watch a video of of Mr. P when I talked about. <laughs> <laughs> why i think he bought his doctorate on right doctorate degree click on the video you see on your screen and i hope to see you next time on my videos <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my, you.